you get in there, you you, you scope that, right? That, that damage, you take pictures of it, you diagram it, you measure it, all that stuff. Because later on, that, that keeps the desk adjuster from having to send somebody else back out, you know, to get those measurements. It's a small thing, right? But it also, you know, makes the, the homeowner feel like, all right, well, he's, he's documenting everything. He's not just going to like say no at the front doorstep. The big, the big one, the, 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 the uh, example that I use all the time <laughs> is that, you know, the, the water damage ones, the, the, the sewer backup claims in the basement, right? If you see on the loss report, the, the homeowner, the first notice of loss person, when they call the claim in, right, or, or when they text, you know, they, they do the app thing and they file a claim and they put some notes in there, you know, water damage in the basement. There was six inches of water in the basement. It's a finished basement. You know, it's 900 square feet or whatever. And water came in through the wall and damaged everything, right? It's everything's ruined down there, right? And you see that water came in. Through, nobody covers that at all. There's no right. zero coverage for that under any circumstance, um, right? The adjuster that takes that at face value and doesn't investigate that claim and go to the house and say, are you sure? Are you, is, are you positive? It couldn't have come through this floor drain over here. It couldn't have come out of that sump pump well, or it couldn't have, you know, you start asking questions, right? You're investigating this claim. If you don't do that, then you get the, the, the terrible to the fifties and the forties and the 30 customer service ratings, right? Because I remember, I remember hearing a story like that about somebody that went to a birthday party. There was a, a claim. There was a birthday party, and, and oh yeah, showed up at a, <laughs> showed up at a, a, t a confusing time and and went on in and and uh, it's, I think that's. Let me tell story. the story. Let me tell the story. This is a good story. <laughs> I forgot about that. So this was a perfect storm of every possible thing, almost every possible thing that could have gone wrong on any claim. But call the guy, made the appointment, and I sloppily wrote. It was supposed to be for 9 a.m. And I, my nine, the top of the nine wasn't quite connected. It looked like a four. And so when I was, I made all my phone calls. And then when I was organizing everything into, into my days, into my folders, that one went at four o'clock instead of at nine o'clock, which is when it was supposed to be. I show up at the house on the day. The guy, he didn't call. Like, you know, a lot of times if you're late, if you're that late, if you're 10 minutes late or if you're an hour late, hey, you know, we're just here waiting. We just wondering if you're going to come or not. Yep. Didn't get any of those calls. I didn't call my manager. I didn't call anybody that I know of. And I show up and, you know, there's a bunch of cars in the driveway. And like there's here laughter in the background. He's kind of got a smile on his face and he sees me and he sees the, my logo on my shirt. And his just face just like turned into a scowl and, it's, and he started to turn red. And I was like, hey, I'm Matt. He's like, where the hell have you been? You were supposed to be here at night. He just started, lays into me. You know, well, I got my son's fifth birthday party here. And, rah, rah, rah. and it's, you know, I, this is, I had a, I was like, I was looking at it. I was like, I have you. Oh no, sir. I am so sorry. I apologize. I, you know, I have, I wrote this down and this, I, I, I just fat fingered it or, you know, we didn't have that language back then, but I made a huge mistake. I'm so sorry. I, I'll reschedule this for any time that you want. I'll, whatever you need me to do. You're here. Let's get this over with. And I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> so he takes me down to the basement, big finished basement. And, um, he's like, I was there, I was probably there for 45 minutes and it was like, there's a rec room and like a little bar thing with the tiki, you know, the, everybody's got one of those in their basement yep. and then a little bathroom and then the utility room, which was unfinished. And he was adamant. He said he was, it, the, wa the water came in through the wall, right? He had the sewer and drain backup endorsement for $10,000. And he had a, a sump pump and a floor drain and the whole nine yards over here in the utility room. And it was coming in through that wall over there. And I was like, sir, and around and around, I asked question after question. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, I'm like, are you sure it, it didn't come from here? And I've, it's one point I, I told him, I was like, listen, because if it doesn't come from here, it's not covered. So I want to be sure I, I want, you have to be positive on this. If you're not positive, then you know, then there's, there, then there's, it's a gray area and I've got some wiggle room on this. And he's like, listen, I, I, I want to tell you that he said, but I can't in all good conscience say, because I watched it spray through that wall, like in a shower across the room and the basement filled up. He's like, so I, he goes, I really appreciate you trying to find a way to pay for this. Um, he's like, but I, it, that's where it came from. And if it's not covered, then so be it. 
And I was like, and he was cool about it. He goes, well, let's go upstairs and try to give me a, a bratwurst <laughs> and a beer. You know, all his, his neighbors were over and like the, you know, his, his, his bunch of little kids running around the yard and he's like clapping me on the shoulder and stuff. And I'm like, that was the, it was surreal. And when that was, that was the early experience for me. And that was like, you have to, not because you think you're going to get a bratwurst, which I didn't take or the beer either, but because if it was your house, that's what you want. You would want the adjuster yep. to do. People are people. A lot of people, I would say most people, there's some people that don't, but most people, they understand that the policy doesn't cover absolutely everything, right? That there's limitations to it, that it would be, it would be like unaffordable if it covered every single possible little thing that could ever happen to your house, right? Nobody would be able to afford insurance. People, I think a lot, most people get that. So, but you still have to show that you're, that you're, that you're there investigating their claim and then that you care, like, cause you're trying to find a way to pay for this. And if they feel that because you're exploring and you're poking around into closets and stuff, you sure it didn't come from over here. It might've come from over here, you know, then it goes, it goes a long way. And when you show those, those kinds of numbers and you, the, I've the letters and cards and things like that, that, that have been sent to like agents or like the carrier, you know, I, I've gotten, you'll get people, homeowners will send letters or they'll, or they'll send cards or whatever to their agent saying how well the adjuster did, like to praise the adjuster. And a lot of those have been on claims I've had to deny most of them, which is weird, but they feel like they got a fair shake and that's all that matters. And that goes into your, into your, the carrier loves you and they're going to start, they, they boost you way up on their first call list. And that's when they come back to the IA firm and they say, Hey, listen, you know, you know that, remember that adjuster you had here last summer? Well, do they live anywhere near here? Cause we got some stuff, you know, uh, there's some, you know, we just lost one of our staff adjusters and you know, it's, we, we, we need somebody to backfill this territory until we hire somebody else. Is that person available? And it's yep. December. Right. Absolutely. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house on video? What about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is stability and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims, adjusting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride-along. Speaking of ride-alongs, click here to get right along to the next video because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along, get it right, just move right along versus ride along, it's right along, get right along to it.